Today's episode is sponsored by PosterStore.com. Okay, just inside this door, I have worked so hard to save us thousands and thousands of dollars on an entryway makeover. I cannot wait to share it to you, but not quite yet. On today's episode, we are gonna be making over my entryway. As you can tell, I left it just as it is on everyday life. I did not stage it. I left out the clutter, the mess, so you could fully appreciate why we need to do this makeover, but also give you like a real life look. I mean, this is real life here. Let me give you a little tour to show you just exactly what we're dealing with. Wouldn't it be handy to have a closet right here? It'd be really nice. So as you can see, we really need some storage. I need to purge and get rid of stuff and organize. Organization doesn't really come all that naturally to me, so that's why you don't see a whole lot of organization videos here on my channel. I just shared this with all of you just to keep things real. I always try to keep things real on my channel. So this is just like the catch-all baskets. Oh my goodness. Sometimes my life is a little cluttered. Sometimes it's organized, but sometimes it's cluttered. And I'm hoping that you, some of you can relate to that. But today we're about organizing, creating storage, and getting this looking better because this is the first impression people have when they come in my home. And honestly, it's not that great of one. Okay, we are ready to get started on all of the fun projects that I've got planned for this entryway. But before we get started on the new projects, I wanted to give you a quick recap on the projects that we've already done. So the first project I did, and this was a couple of years ago, is right here on this entry wall, I did a batten board floor to ceiling wall treatment that really brightened up the space. You know, it's a pretty simple beginner project. We took some masonite and attached that to the wall first, creating a nice smooth surface because here in my Florida home, it's pretty heavy orange peel texture. And to get that really nice, crisp batten board look, I just, instead of doing like a floating the walls, it's a quick, easy fix to just put some masonite on the wall first and then cover up that with the trim and all of that. So I did that and it, was a tremendous upgrade for this entry area and doing it myself saved me a ton of money and it was like i don't know like a day or two project so totally worth it and i had previously painted the walls and we might do some touch-up paint i didn't really do a video of that it was one of the first things i did moving in my wall paint as you'll see because we are going to paint in the stairwell in just a second it's called revere pewter which is like a kind of a beigey grayish color. It's a really popular color and it works really great in here with the tile and everything that was already existing. Now on last week's episode, we built this DIY locker system using an Ikea closet. So if you wanna see how I did that in full detail, I'll link that below, but stay, don't go yet because we've got a lot of fun projects today that we're gonna be tackling. But this was really cool because I just used an existing PAX closet and then I used an existing bench that was previously a TV stand that we kind of made over in a thrift flip and I decided it was still going to work in here for our bench and I kind of built that in and then we built this surrounding stuff, added the ship lap and it's looking good. <laughs> I estimate that we would have probably, if we'd have hired a professional to do this, it would have been between three and $5,000. And we did it for a small fraction of that cost. I don't remember the end final number, but we did really, really good and saved thousands of dollars on just this alone. Now tackling our projects for today. Let me tell you what our first project is gonna be. So the first project we are gonna do is a project that I've been wanting to tackle for a long time. And probably the reason for this whole entry way makeover is I really want to upgrade this builder grade newel post. It's tired, it's ready for a makeover, and it's not very substantial. And I am just gonna use all of the scraps from my locker project to do this. So this 
this is wood that I already have on hand, no additional cost to me, but even if you had to get like a sheet or two of MDF, it would be a really affordable project for you when buying and replacing a newel post is, you know, could be very pricey. Now, I've seen a lot of people who like cut down the railing and all of that. I want to leave everything in place because I just don't want to mess around with that. So basically what we're going to do is just wrap our new newel post around this existing one. I actually think it will make things more secure, but it will make it a little bit easier. There will be some tricky spots around this handrail here, but I've got a tool that will hopefully help us out with that. So this is what we're going to tackle first. And then we've got some other really fun projects, including some artwork that we're going to order from our show sponsor, the poster store. That's really going to kind of pull the whole look together. We're going to do some decor and all of that. So let's get started on the Newell Post. Okay, so here's the tricky part. It has some scalloping and all of that. I've put a piece cut on an angle right underneath it, and then we're gonna just piece together. Maybe I can get it in one piece and put it over this way, but I think more likely I'm going to do one piece over to here and then like a smaller piece over here. This is where caulk and putty is gonna be our best friend, and once we build this out and beef it out a little bit. We'll get further away from it and I think we'll be okay. So I have this tool right here. We are going to push it in and hold it up against this. And then we're gonna just make sure we get this as snug as possible. Push that, that locks it into place. And then we have the scalloped edge and this is how we need to cut our piece here. We'll make sure that it's on an angle and it matches up with this and then we'll jigsaw this out. Okay, so you can see right here, we didn't get this perfect. We still have some building out layers to go and that's what caulk and putty is for. So I'm not too worried about that. It's definitely much easier than ripping out the whole railing. And when we're all said and done, I promise you, you won't be able to tell. We're just wrapping that post right inside. It's gonna be great. Beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. They my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself. So I wanted to just explain to you what we have done here. Basically, we first wrapped the pole, then we did a wrap to stair step it out, and then we did a third wrap to stair step it out. And we've been just doing um, square 90 degree cuts, but for this edge, I wanted to create a miter just so it looked a little bit more finished. And so I did that on my table saw. You could keep doing these 90 degree cuts and, and make that work for you. But I just thought this would give us a better finish. So then we are going to just put these in here and they'll be at a 90 degree, as you can see. And we will nail this into place. And then the only thing we have left to do after we get all of these into place is put on a cap on top of this. This was made entirely from scrap wood that I had laying around and it is awesome. Now it's just time to caulk and putty 
That's the most important part to make it look really good. Okay, so I literally just finished this newel post, which is a scaled down version of the one at the bottom of the stairs, and it is starting to storm. And look at me, I'm covered in like an inch of sawdust, but we are gonna be able to finish these newel posts up in just one day. You're gonna be tired, you're gonna be exhausted, and you're gonna wanna quit, but you need to make sure that you do a really good job puttying and then sanding down all the putty and then make sure you caulk every little seam so that when we go to paint it, it will look nice and pristine. So we're, we're almost there. <laughs> Boy, did we work hard yesterday. <laughs> My bed last night never felt so good because we really put in a good day's work. It was like 92 degrees and 95% humidity while we were building this. But the cool thing is, is it's done. It looks amazing. I haven't painted it yet. We're gonna get to that in just a second. So before we get too much further, I did want to share with you about this episode's sponsor, The Poster Store. They have incredible prints, kind of got a Scandinavian flair, but they do have a lot of options in different design styles. In fact, the one that I selected for this landing area right up here um, is kind of got a French flair to it. So you're definitely gonna wanna go in and um, check out what they have to offer. Another cool thing is, is you can keep the frame set up and like replace the prints. And I've got my eye on some Christmas prints. I know it's July, but <laughs> I've already got my eye on those Christmas prints. Anyways, they're sustainably sourced. Their prices are really, really good. They have a whole section on their website that really lay out all of these gallery walls, taking the workout and the effort and the brain power behind it. In fact, I just bought an entire gallery wall because I'm like, hey, they've already done the work. It looks good together. Let's buy the whole set. So stick with me to the very end because they have given us a huge discount code. I mean, their prices are already good. They've given us a massive discount. So I'm gonna share that discount code with you a little bit later. In the meantime, we've got some work to do before we can hang up our beautiful art and we're gonna start by painting out our newel post, but then these walls r right here in the stairwell are looking shabby. They're the original paint color that w when we moved in, which is kind of a butter color. Say hi to the DIY dolly. <laughs> She's photobombing. Anyway, so we've got some painting to do. We're gonna paint the front door. Let's get moving. add a little drama by painting this door black. It will be the same color and the same paint that's on the outside, but on the inside, I think that will really make it pop and look really good. So we're gonna do that now. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you If you care about me at all You should focus on your problems Not putting the blame on me So I won't pick up your call I don't wanna talk about it You know that we disagree i 
have bled, we have sweat, we have worked so hard for this amazing transformation. I cannot wait to share with you the final result. Let's go inside. Oh, you should respect my boundaries. Don't come knocking on my door. Cause it's scary, you must know. After everything we've been through, this can't go on no more. Okay, so let's start right here at the front door. Before I did any of the makeover, I did a frosted glass treatment by just using some clear contact paper that I got at Dollar Tree. That gives us privacy and makes it so people can't peep into us, especially when we're going up and down the stairs at night, you know. <laughs> Anyways, so then we painted it black and the same black that's on the other side. For those of you who are curious, the color is caviar. I don't recall whose color that is, but the color is caviar. As for this area right here, I tried to use mostly what I had on hand. In fact, the only thing that I bought new were these old trunks, new old trunks. <laughs> I got those at Hobby Lobby, but everything else I kind of had already for a while. The table was there. And then from a recent thrift flip, you'll know that I found these amazing pottery barn, pottery pieces. And then I put my favorite real touch tulips in there. Then this cathedral window was an old DIY that we did a couple of years ago. It's still one of my top favorite DIYs that we've ever done. I'll link all of these episodes in the description box just in case you're curious once we're all done here. And then behind it, it's kind of random. It was one of those really inexpensive Walmart mirrors that I just had sitting around and I'm like, you know, it might be kind of cool to layer that, add a little light reflection in this little corner here. And I had it and so it was literally just sitting around. I don't know if it works or not. You'll have to let me know. It's kind of different. I kind of just stuck it to the wall and then hung our cathedral window over the top of it. We can't go too much further without talking about this locker system. This was my very last episode. This was a lot of work but in the end it really makes the space it's just incredible basically it was an old bench that I had coupled with an Ikea closet which is fun to have it's extra organization and storage for us and then we've got cubbies for baskets, a little decor, I don't know. I'm still debating back and forth whether or not to put doors on this and have more additional storage. So stay tuned and make your vote in the comment section if you think I should put doors on these top ones. I am debating it because it would be really nice to just use that as more storage instead of it being open, but I do kind of like it having decor. So that's on the fence. Also make your vote on whether I should stain this bench seat in a really dark, it's called Kona color. It's the same color that is on my fireplace mantle. I've got the very dark brown kitchen cabinets right around the corner, so I'm kind of going back and forth. At the same time, this bench really matches up with the baskets and everything that I have, but it's fantastic. I love it. It's gonna keep us organized and really make an awesome statement here. Now let's talk about this awesome newel post. Before it was a boring builder grade thing that we just kept wrapping and wrapping and trim and molding and this was built literally entirely on scrap. But if you were to build this and you didn't have any scrap, you could probably get away with it using one sheet of MDF for both newel posts. So I did two. You could definitely, I, I really believe you could get it done with just one sheet of MDF. And if we were to hire this out, I hate to say, I don't, I don't really know because I haven't really priced it out, but I, I really think it would have been about $1,500 at least for the two newel posts to, to switch it out or build it out. Now, yes, I could have switched out the other little railings here but I think having this is enough of a change that I am thrilled with it 
um, maybe down the road I'll, I'll put in square spindles, but I think it's just fine. I think it looks fantastic and I absolutely love it. Not bad for scrap wood, right? <laughs> and hey, we got the corner cleaned out. Yay! <laughs> Looking good. So I know it's gonna seem kind of weird given the fact of all the work that we did on the newel posts and the locker system and all of that, but this stairwell area was a job that I had been dreading for the four years that we've lived in this home. Honestly, I just didn't really love the idea of painting, especially this tricky wall here. It's super tall and honestly, it was not as bad as I thought, but it really gave a really nice backdrop for our cool gallery wall. Now let's talk about this gallery wall. I absolutely love this finished look. It's got a very French flair to it. And using the little inserts from the frames to help set up that gallery wall ahead of time, coupled with the inspiration of the already pre-packaged gallery walls that they have on the website, it just made it super easy to do. I love that we can leave this in place and switch out the prints anytime we change our decor. We can order more prints from the poster store and they like i said they have some really cool ones for winter and christmas time that i'm really excited i'll have to check to see if they have something for fall but we can just switch out the prints without having to redo everything and i just love that and so once again i want to thank the poster store for sponsoring this episode they have given us a 55% off discount. 55% off discount. Just use the coupon code designed to the nines at checkout and you will get a huge, huge discount. I love that. I love getting a good deal, as you can tell. Well, this was a lot of work, but no more am I making a bad first impression like I was at the beginning. It was such a mess, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so bad. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button right here. It's super easy to do. And I would love it if you joined the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners. I just want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.